it's always been kind of a natural pathway for me to become a teacher. Uh, at first, I wanted to be an interpreter. I became an English teacher uh, because the job I came here to do didn't go very well. My own English teacher inspired me to be an English teacher. So I wanted to earn some money. <laughs> so I decided that why not to try? Like, why not to find some uh, students? Actually, it was kind of a coincidence. I had gotten out of one business and was offered the chance to teach and found that it worked for me, that I enjoyed it. Uh, like when you are a child or a teenager, you never consider a teaching profession as something really great because um, you never look at that like from, from this particular side. To be honest, I come from a family of teachers. So both of my grandparents on my mother's side are teachers. My uncle is a teacher. My aunt is a teacher. Everyone in my family is a teacher. My stepsister is a teacher, really. My mother was not a teacher, but I grew up, I was like, I'm never gonna be a teacher. I'm never gonna be a teacher. I don't wanna do this. And then I was like, you know, I think I should move to Moscow and become an English teacher. <laughs> and uh, there was nothing to do but teaching. So um, I tried, I liked it, and I never stopped. <laughs> to me, language was always like magic, something that only I could speak and nobody could understand me. And um, I, was, I was always uh, amazed by the British culture and books and songs in English. And uh, that's how I first thought that I will definitely connect my life with English. I love foreign languages because I love all languages, but particularly uh, Russian and French. And I began to study uh, French uh, in order to be able to teach French to foreigners. It's a special kind of relationship to be able to uh, teach the people that you yourself have learned about, so. Um, I'm in love with the sound of my own voice. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> the thing that inspires me most is seeing some progress and development. When you see them learn certain rules or phrases and hear them use them in practice, it's always rewarding. Just uh, meeting someone or some group of people who have this dream, this goal, and then being able to help them realize it it makes you feel very special, but it's also very humbling because although you have so much to teach them, they have a lot to teach you, which sounds very cliche. I like to share, but I can't say that I'm really experienced or something, but still I have some experience and I can uh, share and I have some knowledge so I can share uh, this uh, with other people and I can interact with them. This is what I like. Apart from my own voice, um, I think I'd be a crappy teacher if I didn't learn something pretty much every time. Pretty much every lesson. Um, it may not have to do with English, but I do. I learn a lot of stuff about English as well. Things that I knew instinctively but couldn't exactly put into words. Um, rules and stuff like that. I actually never wanted to have like a school as a business and um, it was never a business plan, it was never like something I was going to do but it just naturally happened because at some point I just had too many students and uh, too little time to, to, to go to their apartments and to provide all those lessons so uh, one day we just decided to like to, to have some group lessons because it was not possible to have individual lessons anymore and this is how I had to uh, rent an office and uh, one day like I had to find some other teachers and this is how it all started. <laughs> you know, um, I wouldn't say that any one person inspires me but I really enjoy that in this line of work 
You can see prog, well, you can't see progress, but you notice progress. Every lesson, you can, even if there's not a huge amount of progress in every lesson, maybe you make somebody feel better on that particular day in their life, right? You laughed a lot in the lesson or you had a good time. Uh, or you help them understand a grammatical concept that's just been bothering them for the longest time. Or you open up their world a little bit by introducing some sort of new vocabulary that they've been struggling to try and understand. I wouldn't say like there is only one person because each story I hear all the time, um, when I talk to people, each story is super inspiring because this is all the stories of real, usual people, like regular people. like. Victory, any kind of achievement, is really precious and uh, it is worth listening, it is worth telling and uh, it is worth like, I don't know, existing and yeah, it, it's really inspiring all the time. My students themselves, they inspire their stories, their background, their needs, uh, what they wanted to share with me and maybe when they share the information and the details, experience with me, I want to give more to them.